Okay, we're back to this valve. If you remember from the previous videos, all the leaks I had on this brand new uh, master cool visual inspection, I found another leak. So their adapter for the 134 fitting on here in the thread wasn't screwed down all the way. It wasn't seated to the gasket. It was also leaking there. This thing was just leak city. So as I hooked up, I uh, got some gas and refrigerant in here prior to letting you guys see it. So it's already contaminated. It's not a clean version clear system. But what I will let you see, I have it on vacuum right now. I'm pulling the vacuum on it. I got it down to 290 microns. So let's turn off the vacuum source. And I'm going to, it's closed at the low side. I will close off the low side valve and we will fill this up with liquid refrigerant and we'll do that off the high side. So I have the vacuum sources off, the low side open. I have it connected to the high side. So now I'm gonna open the high side valve. And yeah, it'd be nice. No, I don't have the high side valve connected. Now I have the high side and I'm gonna screw it in. And there we go. We got something, I see something moving. I have this open, I have this open. Where's our liquid? I have this closed. There's some movement. I've seen it. That line is supposed to be filled with liquid. Where is our liquid? I got 148 PSI. I know I had, I think it was like 31 or 24. I can't remember what the PSI on the low side was. Um, let's open up, let's close it to the system and get some flow through here. There we go. Okay, now we got some flow. But now I want to stop it off until you can see my leak right here. Now I just stopped it and we're trying to fill it up a little bit. I can hear another leak somewhere. This is leaking. Now what you would do, you bring this up so the liquid doesn't come out. And I'll open it up a little bit so liquid goes in. I'll keep letting liquid in but I'm pulling vapor off the top. So I'll get a higher percentage of oil. We don't want that much. So this should fill up with oil or, or uh, refrigerant. See, it's gonna hit the filter up there and start taking it in. Okay, now I'm gonna shut off the low side. There, I just shut off the low side. Now I'm gonna shut off the high side. Now I just shut off the high side. So now the refrigerant is trapped inside there. So now that the high and low is trapped, I'm gonna open up the high side and let the low pressure boil off the refrigerant. So nothing is pushing, it's only gonna pull. Oh, too much. I want it less than that because I don't want to bring out the oil. I want you guys to see. Now you see the bubbling? Because I have the valve cracked a little bit and it's outgassing. Get a little bit more. Come on. This is touchy. I'm, I'm afraid that once I go to a certain point, it's just going to outgas really fast. And I, there, let's see, right there. I'm slowly boiling it off. The refrigerant is boiling right now. And you see that the low valve is closed, the upper valve is a little bit open. I'll see if I can speed this up without sucking it out of there, sucking liquid out of there. So there, I just I cracked it a little more. Let me see if I can crack it more. There we go. Now in theory, that valve is supposed to be 100% off and the level should be going down. wonder if there's a vacuum. No pressure, because it would uh, flash over with uh, some frost on the surface of the glass. See, that's why it has that second lens on it, to keep the ambient air 
out of there because if the ambient air touched the glass, the moisture in the air would condensate all over that glass on the inside. It's going down. I see it going down. Just really slow. I don't want to make it so fast that it sucks. I want to separate the oil out of the refrigerant. I want you to see how much oil is left in the refrigerant. Oh, and I got a leak down there too on the other side, on this side of the valve. So it's actually losing a little refrigerant right there. But you can see it's going down. I'm gonna see if I could lay it over without touching the filter. I don't want to suck it up inside. Now I'm gonna to try to open it up a little bit more so I could pull off some more gas without foaming it up too much because I want to leave the oil behind. See, if you, if you remove the surface of the vapor of the refrigerant off the top, the oil doesn't come up and it gets left behind. And you can, and you actually, if you took out one pound, let's say 1,000 grams of refrigerant, it would have oil in it, right? And then you evaporate off all the refrigerant and you leave behind the oil and you have, let's say, uh, I'm gonna use a round number. Uh, let's say we had 100 grams of refrigerant we boiled off the 100 grams of refrigerant and we were left with one gram of oil behind as a solid. So we had basically 1% oil mixed in with the refrigerant. Okay, now I have this all the way open and there is our oil. Not much. Let me close it off again. I'm gonna open, it up. open up the high side. And that's how I always break my phone. That's why I'm on like my eighth phone. And there we go. We're ch chug lugging again. And my other phone is going off now, guys. I got to get back to work. All right. I see. I got to answer this phone.